a meditation on HPB's Diagram of Meditation. I am all space and time. Take a moment to find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Sit back or lie down and align your spine so you are comfortable. Remember, meditation is effortless, requiring only that you gently guide your attention and observations as we go beyond the mind. Once you are settled, take a moment to adjust your position and surroundings. Breathe deep, knowing you are safe in this present moment. All is well. Take one more deep breath. In through your nose, hold it for a moment. Then release and breathe out through your mouth. Feel your body releasing and sinking back into relaxation. Allow your breathing to flow naturally and simply just be. Take a moment to notice any tension or tightness in your muscles. If you sense any, gently focus on releasing and letting go. Be present within your body, feeling the comfort, quiet, serenity, and calm. It is completely natural and normal for thoughts to arise. Simply observe them without judgment or emotional response. See them as cars passing by or clouds rolling across the sky. Your only job is to allow them to come and go. Even if you feel resistance or doubt or find this meditation silly, be with that feeling and allow it to pass without any response from you. Observe and attach as if you were watching a movie. You are at peace in this present moment. All is well. In this sacred space within your body, we come to HPB's first instruction, to conceive of unity. You are of the stars. The iron, carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen that forms our planet, our physical bodies, and everything we see in our skies. All of it originated in the stars that came before. You are stardust. As Rumi beautifully expressed, you think yourself just a drop within the ocean, but you are also the ocean within the drop. All that is, is also you. There is no separation, nor are you apart from the one, the universal, the infinite self. This divine universal consciousness created the ever-expanding universe and also created you from itself. There is no separation. So let us conceive of and become unity, union of all, of everything and nothing from the smallest living organism to pure divine consciousness by expanding through space and becoming infinite in time. In this quiet place, from the center of your being, behind your breath, begin to identify 
the presence that is truly you. This warm, bright, radiant light of energy from within your heart. This energy now expands throughout your chest. The warmth melts down your legs and into your toes, then pulses forth down your arms and into your fingertips. This vibrant force now extends beyond your skin. This is your astral body. Feel it radiating beyond your physical body. How wonderful it feels as it expands. You are no longer confined within your physical body. Your physical body is now within you. Your warm light presence fills the room, encompassing everything around you. Look down and observe your body, peacefully at rest. Notice the angle of your view and the top of your furnishings. Does this look familiar? You continue to joyfully expand, enveloping your home now. Fill every bit of space and see your bright energy surrounding the buildings of your neighborhood. You ascend as a golden mist past the treetops, high above your own town or city. Your light, like liquid love, expands to include everything and everyone. And you continue. Your heart energy soars up and out, further and further. Bright like rays of the sun, your energy widens and fills your country all the way from sea to sea. You are now one with your earthly continent. Knowing all that is, is also you. Our beautiful blue planet is next. Against the brilliant black backdrop of space, how breathtakingly perfect she is. Oceans glistening in the sun, you see no borders of division. Only the luscious greens and blues and browns and swirling clouds of home. Take a deep breath and feel the powerful connection with all that is Earth. Your consciousness originating from the spark within your heart encompasses our globe with a golden glow and shines infinitely through the universe. I am. I am all space and boundless time and present absolutely everywhere. I am all space and time. Feel the expansiveness and unity of the universe. Embrace the timelessness of no time at all. Your loving energy glows bright and grows to encompass all of the planets in our solar system and on into, through, and beyond the ever-expanding consciousness, the boundless infinity of space. Your vast inner flame now dances among the colorful mists and interstellar substance of the nebulas as they prepare for the birth of new star systems. Breathe them in and lovingly become them as they become you. You are both. You are all existence and you are the void. The emptiness and the fullness. Breathe with this now. You are the universe 
and the universe is you. This is your true self. Then go beyond this. Focus in your heart center where this spark originates, where your light begins. Feel the unity with all that is, the connection, the timelessness of no time at all, and repeat to yourself, I am all space and time. I am all space and time. I am all space and time. Merge the ocean into the drop and the drop within the ocean. I am one with the one invisible and unknowable deity, our eternal parent, the absolute. Like rays from the sun, I am a radiation of the universal soul. I share an identical essence with it. I am one with the universal mind, the manifested and unmanifested universe. I am without limits, for I am all space and time. The past, the present, and the future are the ever-living trinity in one. The great illusion of the absolute is. In reference to states of consciousness, now logically and consistently, meaning lucidly and repeatedly, we bring our focus to universal oneness our unity with all that is in reference to different states of consciousness. Waking consciousness, our normal everyday awareness within the visible physical world, the world of the senses, of sight, taste, touch, sound and smell, where our personality resides. This is waking consciousness. Two, the dream state, the personal unconscious, subconscious, the subtle inner world, our astral body. This is our dream state. Three, the third state is deep sleep, the higher self and higher mind, Access to the collective unconscious beyond the mind. We are transcending our individuality. Here we are aware of our harmony with nature. This is deep sleep consciousness. And the fourth state, transcendental pure consciousness. The wisdom of universal consciousness. Perfect awareness of awareness that which runs through and unites all the previous states of consciousness. This fourth state of pure consciousness is enlightenment. Our waking, normal state of consciousness must be molded by acquisitions and deprivations. The acquisitions, what we are, the I am. and the deprivations, what we let go of, what we are not. Acquisitions. I am perpetual presence. I am all space and time, eternal, everywhere, and timeless. Not my temporary earthly personality, but my true self. I am one with the universe, with the absolute, with all that is, I am all space and time. I remember now, the primordial memory returns, and this ancient echo does not fade whether I am awake or I am dreaming. 
I know who I am. This sacred remembrance brings with it colossal courage, freedom, fearlessness, complete liberation, self-sufficiency, and bliss. And all fear and dread of the dangers, torments, and trials of life vanish. I am all space and time. I am simply changing my attitude of mind. And I continue and persevere. There is no wrong way. I keep realigning my view of all life, of all beings, events, and situations. With balance and composure, I neither like nor dislike, nor hold on to, nor become attached to, nor do I avoid or become indifferent. I choose to face and accept it all, unaffected with calm equanimity. Physically reacting appropriately to each circumstance, yet remaining mentally at peace and completely undisturbed. Equilibrium and constant calm is my goal. There is greater ease when practicing patience, kindness, humility, diligence, charity, temperance, and chastity, as these virtues are the outcome of wisdom. Benevolence, sympathy, justice, etc. arise from my instinctive identification of myself with all other beings, although mostly unknown to my waking earthly personality. I understand that everyone who exists in a physical body has limited perception, as I do myself. These limitations are varied. I always try to remember that each and every being is trying their very best at their current level of understanding and evolution. Criticism will surely come, both to me and from me. I will make sure it is objective, constructive, and compassionate, without praise or blame, nor feeling any pride nor shame, just informative. I will see it with calm composure and balance. I am not the lower self of my momentary earthly personality. I am all space and time. And beyond this understanding, there are no words. It cannot be said. Beyond this, there is only the voice of the silence. Like rays from the sun, I am a radiation of the universal soul. I share an identical essence with it. I am one with the universal mind, the manifest and unmanifest universe. I am without limits, for I am all space and time. The deprivations, the letting go. This is my lower self, the human vices. I am letting go, I am sloughing off, as this is not who I truly am. I am not this body. I am a spiritual being, an eternal energy that has a human body at this time. I am not these thoughts. I am not these emotions. I am not this anger. I am not this joy. All these belong to my current incarnation's earthly personality. They are not my real self. They are attachments to the illusions of the manifested universe. These identifications are the source of my bondage, ignorance, and strife, of all of my suffering in this earthly life. I lovingly release my attachment to and my thoughts about all relationships with acquaintances, friends, and loved ones. I am all space and time, boundless and eternal. Therefore, there is no separation between me and anyone else. I am a limitless being in eternity. The past, the present, and the future are illusions. I compassionately let go of any sentimental longing for a particular place or time 
or circumstance, or wishing for things to be different than the way they are at the current moment. I let go of any and all opinions about anything. I am free. In doing so, I release myself from fear, resentments, expectations, sad memories, a broken heart, etc. I will not classify anyone as friend or foe, for they are neither. All associations are simply effects of the immutable law of karma, of balance, for my earthly personality to learn, evolve, and grow. I am everything and everyone, everywhere. I am universal oneness. Therefore, within this unity, there cannot be friend nor foe. This understanding results in peace and a healing absence of anger and bias, replaced by calm observation and discernment. I release any attachment to my possessions and any earthly wealth, to my beliefs and my personality, to my earthly name and my identity, to my family, my career, my position and title, thus liberating myself from greed, vanity, selfishness, ambition, and remorse. They cannot define my true self, which is never ending. The sun is never separate from its rays, and I am a radiation of the universal soul. I let go of my attachment to the physical sensations of my body, liberating me from gluttony, lust, and any hollow pursuit of pleasure. I am what lies beyond my body, beyond my thoughts, and beyond my mind. I am compassion. I am understanding. I am empathy and perfect peace. I am equanimity and stability. This is my true nature. These passions and virtues are only general hints. They interblend with each other, so feel free to substitute with your own whatever comes to mind. The whole point of meditation is to go beyond thought, beyond words, beyond the mind, to hear the truth from the voice within, the voice of the silence. Stay here in this sacred space as long as you wish, and revisit this meditation as often as you like. Thank you for being here and all my love.